Welcome back to the West Coast for episode 3 with me, Mr. Silly P. Okay, here's where I am. I'm actually down near the castle, down at Clifftop Farm. I've got the last of my straw bales, I'll say the last of my straw bales, a load of the straw bales, and I think I've got two left on the field which I'll move out of the way at a later date, but I need to get rid of these. I was, was hoping to drop those into the BGA, but it didn't work. I dropped them, and because it's there's like a grill, a grate over the digesters, they just sat there. So that didn't work. So there is a bale um, and hay, or sort of straw and hay, sell point at Clifftop Farm. Problem is, old man Fraser is probably not the most approachable of people, and there's a very clear sign here no trespassing. I'm going to go up. I'm hoping. I did say I would come down here with my Massey Ferguson because he's a bit of a Massey Ferguson fan. But I completely forgot about that. I am going to come down try and sell my bales here. Hopefully I'm not going to be chased off by a shotgun wielding farmer. Hopefully. So once these are sold um, what I need to do next is some grass. I need grass for sheep. I need grass for the cows. I'm going to need to do some hay as well at some point but I will start off with grass and see how we get on in this episode, how much time we use. I've had a few people comment about how it seems to go a bit laggy. I wouldn't say laggy is the word I would use, sometimes a little bit stuttery. It's, it's when you're going past multiple objects. I've found going through the areas where the forests are and obviously I've just gone past one just there you get a little bit of kind of um, yeah just a little bit juddery on the screen it happens every now and again um, not too much of a problem so here we are Clifftop Farm I'm not sure where the sell point is actually Ooh, gates. oh there we go there it is Right, gates seem to be closed everywhere. Can't seem to see him. Let's just stop a second and have a quick look. Oh, there we go. What have we got? Massey Ferguson 110. Another closed gate. <laughs> he definitely doesn't want any trespassing, does he? Oh. Massey Ferguson 699. What I was supposed to say then was Massey Ferguson, not Man Ferguson. I don't know what I said there. A Massey Ferguson 699. Very nice indeed. Chickens. I was going to say, let's have some eggs. But I think I should probably ask him first before I start helping myself to eggs. What else we got? Here. Ah, Massey Ferguson 27 cut header. Oh, well, that's interesting. I'm assuming that because this is just shoved up into the trees, that it's not working. So, I think then, a chat to old man Frazier, at some point, maybe I can take him down the pub. Maybe a chat in the pub might be the best way. Maybe we can get this fixed and running. All the rest of the equipment's here, that might be quite handy. Anyway, I'm getting off point. I need to get these bales sold, and then I can get on with what I need to do next. Thank you for all the comments, all the support all the help from lots of friendly farmers out there and there are lots of you out there 
helping out with suggestions, ideas, things you found on yours, things that are working, things that aren't, or things you haven't been able to do, whatever it might be. I am trying to get as much done as I can. I think I commented to someone today, um, literally, probably 20 minutes ago, while I was going through all my emails. There we go. Bit of money in the bank. Um, it's a very, very busy time at the moment for me, because of the games I play. Um, I do play Call of Duty, um, but I don't film that. So I've been playing a bit of Call of Duty World War II. Not online, just playing through the campaign. But with the new maps like this one, the West Coast, Altenstein came out, so I wanted to do a map review on that. There's been some new mods out. Uh, Mud Runner, a spin tires game. I haven't really done as much on that as I hoped I would have done. Um, it's been quite busy. And then obviously in about, what, three days' time, uh, the Platinum Edition is coming out on this. So I'm trying to fit everything in. So if there's something you enjoy watching and I haven't done it, I am getting around to everything, I promise. Right, let's get back and let's get this sorted. Well, hopefully I'll have a bump into him at some point. And we can have a bit of a chat about that massive Ferguson. I have to say, the lads from the village are very, very nice here. <coughs> Excuse me, I just got dropped off, off the main road. By Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Very, very helpful. Um, I'm heading up the track to River Rock Farm, Mr. Kinnan's farm, which is the sheep farm. He's got some mowing equipment, which I'm going to need to be using if I'm going to be cutting grass. It's going to benefit him because the grass is going to be for his sheep, and then I'll do some for the cows up at Mountain View Farm. I think he's left it out, he said. Aha! Opening the gate would be always better than jumping the gate, wouldn't it? Perfect. Oh, and engine running. Obviously wanted to warm it up a little bit for me this morning. Fantastic. Now, that's an interesting way of doing this. Oh, I suppose, yeah, because if that goes on the back, you can't pull that as well. So to get to wherever you're going to go, that's going to work out perfect. That's what we'll do. Hang on. Let's turn it off for a minute. So how are we looking? They need a bit of everything, I think, don't they? I've got... I suppose I could always mow their pasture but really I should leave that for them they need grass to eat we have got this field here that I could do but I'm thinking if I need enough of both I'm gonna need more than that aren't I so I might try and find a field elsewhere something I have found on this map which I am really really impressed with the field prices are very very good they're very reasonable and they're very sensible kind of I say real world prices, I'll be totally honest with you, I have no idea what a piece of land would cost for arable or, you know, whatever it might be, a pasture, I, you know, I can only imagine how expensive land must be, but they are very reasonably, reasonably priced on here, let's have a quick look, for example, let's have a quick look, so half a hectare, 8,587, that's not too bad at all. In fact, that's pretty darn good. What about this one? Seven thousand. Let's have a quick look on the map and see what size these fields are, shall we? So we are at River Rock Farm. Eighty-one is what he already owns, and then you've got the pasture here. So this is 78 and 79. Well, 76, that's a fair old size, isn't it? Hmm, I wonder how much 76 is. That could wipe me out completely. But then at the end of the day, I shouldn't be buying that. That's not my field. That's that's Mr. Kinnan's. If anyone's going to buy it, it's going to be him. I'm just here to mow. Mow everything. Um, hmm... I have to have a chat to him about that. We could probably do with another field, couldn't we? I could do 81, but... I've also got, up at my farm, actually, 
I've got the grass area here, but I'm aware as well I don't want to spend my whole time just around my farm. I want to get out and about around the map and kind of show it off. Right, a bit of a chat to Mr. Kinnan I think is needed. See if he's prepared to invest any of his hard-earned cash. Um, I also had a conversation with Mr. Kinnan. If anyone remembers Big C on Golden Days and Farming, the, the mechanic that did a load of work for me on my Zetor, uh, Zetor, whichever. Um, I have got Big Al in the town that does a load of work, but he has also said that he's got a workshop so he can do bits and bobs as well. So maybe that's not a bad idea. There's always Big Al down in the in the town, but maybe um, Mr. Kinnan here might be able to help as well. Right, okay. Uh, big decisions now. Then what do I do? Well, first of all, I'm going to close the gate back up, not leaving the gates open. Speak to Mr. Kinnan, see what he wants to do, and then we'll get on with some mowing. Right, okay. Uh, where's the farmhouse? I hope he's in. All these farmers get me to do jobs, they're never here. Right, okay. So, after a lengthy discussion, I've managed to get him to part with some cash. Not bad at all, I have to say. Fantastic negotiating skills. So, let's have a quick look. What are we looking at? He has just bought. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed. He's bought field 76, which is not a bad size. He's bought 78, which is a little bit smaller. That's the one we kind of walked into at the back of the uh, farmyard. And he's bought 85, which is down here. It's where the crossroad is as you come out of the town. It's just here. You can just about see it. Um, so there we go, we've got some fields we can be getting on with. So, let's get going. we we'll go down the main track to the larger one, or so the larger one, one of the larger ones. Bearing in mind it's now, what, quarter past six in the evening. I'm not sure how much mowing I'm going to get done. Hopefully enough. So this field here on our left, oh, it's quite hilly as well, isn't it? Now, I'm not used to using a rear mower. I say a yeah, rear mower, I usually use butterfly mowers. I don't usually use a single-sided mower. So it's going to be quite interesting, because I'm trying to work out the first strip round, I'm going to drive over grass. It doesn't matter which way I do it, I'm going to drive over grass, aren't I? Because I haven't got a front mower. If I had a front mower, it would mow as I went along with that behind me and I would be cutting the grass before I drove over it. That's not going to happen, is it? Just dawned on me. Right, let's drop that off. Drop. Oh, oh it has to be open, is it? Drop that down. Why won't they let me drop it? What have I done? Oh, now it will. <laughs> How weird. Okay. Let's win this round. Let's get this attached. Get some early evening mowing done. Lift that back up so I need to get into the field. So I'm just thinking then to avoid. It doesn't matter, I'm going to lose a strip whatever happens. If I get as close to the edge as I can here. Right, let's turn that on. Seems like such a waste driving over stuff. It's fine.
Okay. And once I've done the first trip round, <coughs> what I will do is then I'll go the other way around the field. So I'm driving over what I've already cut to cut the next bit, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Now, when I was watching a few different videos of people using the Seasons mod, wow, that's a bit of an eye-opener. Um, cutting the grass, grass, hay, all that kind of stuff, it degrades over time. If you leave it, you'll lose how however much you had it will obviously in real life it would it would rot you wouldn't be able to leave it sitting anywhere for long periods of time it would start to rot so yeah it would degrade over time but it's interesting to see people cutting their grass and then finding they've lost loads of it so, just turn the mower off a second. No, oh, no, what am I talking about? I'm going to go back the other way. That mean, no, just carry on the way I'm going, don't I? I'm just going to drive over this bit now and cut the bit next to it. Yeah. Ignore me. Talking nonsense. Now, I can come back over the loading wagon. I don't know whether I need to windrow it, maybe. It'll be quicker, but... You can tell I'm so not used to using one of these. I always generally try to, as quickly as possible, get the butterfly mower for the back and a single mower for the front and run a triple mower setup. I, this is uh, this is a steep hill for a start. Okay, let's continue. Taking the view while we're here. I just stopped for a minute. Well, I just stopped to kind of look at the sunset. Um, I know I've got work to do. I just had a phone call from Big Al. Big news, exciting news, especially using the word big. Lord William himself has managed to procure us a piece of equipment. Um, we've got a test model, a demonstration model of something that's gonna make this job way, way quicker. I'm going to go off to the store and grab it. Exciting times. Don't get me wrong, I do like a mower. Um, and that's very, very handy. Um, sorry, Mr. Kinnan. But, bear with me. 
I would call Jonathan for another lift, but I'm not sure where he is. Right, okay, to town. I feel like a supreme being. Now, I've always called this Crone. Somebody sent me a link to this particular piece of machinery. And I think it was a, like a company publication advertising the piece of machinery. And they referred to it as Krona. So I've been saying it wrong all this time, Krona. I'm sure somebody will tell you I'm wrong. I'm just saying what the video said. It said Krona. Um, the Krona. Big M. 500. Now, we haven't bought this, absolutely not, but Lord William has managed to get us a bit of time on it. I'm assuming he's thinking of buying one. That would be pretty awesome if he does. Um, where's the field? I'm lost. It all has also been mentioned to me, and I did think this when I did my guide tour on this piece of machinery. Um, how much this thing looks like the Starship Enterprise. If you're not a Trekkie, it would mean nothing to you. But I believe they're called the warp nacelles, the um, engine, basically the engine cowlings of a Starship. Um, on the back of this thing. And it really does. I like that. That's cool. This thing is awesome. I hope I can get this in here though. That was tight, but we are in. This is going to make light work of doing this field. Oh, hang on, something else has just dawned on me. I don't have to mow and then I can hook up the loading wagon to it, can't I? Brilliant, right. Let's open this thing up first. Wow, I'm going to fly through these fields. Hopefully get it done before it gets dark. What a bit of equipment. Let's turn the engine off for a minute. I'm going to get that loading wagon in here. Whoa. Okay, right. It's all very exciting. I'll take this just past. Grab the loading wagon. Okay, this thing's massive, right, oh, I need, need the ladder, I can't get into it. Right, let's turn that on, drop that down, let's put those down turn them on. I'm going to talk up a little bit because this thing is noisy. Now this will leave me a single swath, a windrow in the middle, which I can pick up. This is filling up the loading wagon incredibly quickly. 
but making light work of this field. Like I say, we'll need to come back and collect the other bits, but... The question is, does it fit this map in so much as it's a big piece of machinery? And the fields aren't huge, but I think it does. There's enough grass fields that need work, and if you're going to do a lot of them and you want to make light work of it, this is the machine to do it with. to hook that loading wagon onto the back. Genius. That's it, the loading wagon's full. <laughs> wow, okay, right. Let's stop there. Let's turn the mowers off and lift them. Go to that. Let's back it up a bit. Disconnect it. Awesome. Right, let's jump out. Okay, I'm going to grab the tractor, grab the loading wagon, take that up and give the sheep some of the grass, and then I'm going to come back, carry on, finish off this field. Oh, man. That's brilliant. I love that. So, rather than just getting a a model that's really for demonstration purposes. Look how quickly that's done that. That's amazing. Um, I've, we need to push to buy one of these. I will speak to Big Al. Everyone seems to be very scared of Big Al. I don't know why. Um, maybe I should be scared of him as well. I don't know. I'm the new boy. I don't know really. Um, and maybe he then can have a bit of a word in Lord William's ear. See if we can get one of these permanently. Right, let's turn this up. Actually, should I collect that? Oh no, I'll collect it later. This is struggling up this hill. It's a steep hill. But another part of the beauty of this map. Wow. Now, I was also left a comment suggesting, and it's probably not a bad suggestion, that the other thing I need to pester Lord William about is a um, one of those, is it forage and chips silos? Because that way, if I do do a load of grass like this, I wouldn't take a lot, did it? Um, well, that's fine. That um, it can be stored then, rather than left to go to waste, so I'm just thinking now actually that's probably enough that I can feed the uh, feed the cows up at Mountain View Farm as well um, right, we have got another loading wagon haven't we, the larger one that I used for the straw, I'll go and grab that, the repex then the big M can carry on this I think then can get taken over um, to Mountain View Farm so the cows have got some grass and then I need to then, yeah, next step pass the Lord William for a forage and, cr uh, forage and chip silo and then we can start storing some of this right, okay I'm going to head up and I'll get the repex bought over maybe one of the workers can help out with that
I'm up at Mountain View Farm. I don't know what it is today, I just cannot stop looking at the sunset. <laughs> the colours are incredible. <laughs> I don't think I will ever get bored of this map. Ever. Anyway, right, I did uh, bring this up here. The um, Repex is full, the Bergman Repex is full. Um, I am speaking to um, Lord William about the forage and chip silo. But before I do that, I'm going to give the cow some grass. Hopefully they don't escape. I think I can get into the cow pasture from over in the corner where the trough is, actually. Oh, that reminds me. Before I go any further, did a bit of trimming on the tree. That's been trimmed back so the bales can actually sit a bit neater. This did that because there was a branch sticking across from there. It kind of got in the way. That's all been trimmed. That's not too bad. Actually, they could probably all have been moved over now, but they'll be okay for a little while. And that's the water trough. And the feed trough is over here. And I probably could have done it from inside, actually, in the shed itself. And I probably am just realised I'm probably the wrong side, aren't I? I bet the unload symbol doesn't come up. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> yep, I shouldn't have come into the field. Isn't it weird? As soon as I drove towards it, I suddenly thought, hang on a minute. I'm the wrong side. because there's the trough here I probably could have got away with just backing in from that end now the other thing as well while I'm here this manure unlike previous maps just leap over there um, my manure where is it I've got to find it first might be the other side I'm not too sure um, your usual manure point where when the animals produce the manure the cows that is um, and it automatically fills up the little manure bunker. Not so. On this, you have to actually muck them out. That I love. That's brilliant. I know it's mixed opinions. People think, well, it's just extra work. It's something else to have to do. But that's part of it. That I like that. Brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to feed these. I'm going to feed these cows. I really, really am going to give them some grass. At some point. Who knows? Maybe before the end of the episode. Could be one of those kind of miracle moments where I actually do what I said I was going to do. They happen every now and again. There we go. That took more than I thought it would. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the episode. I did grass. I said I was going to do that in the last episode. I have given grass to the sheep. I have given grass to the cows. I have used the awesome chrome big M. Oh, here it is. That's just the manure. The manure pile. I just drove past it, didn't I? So, yeah, that, it will need to be actually mucked out and then put in there. It won't automatically appear in there. So, as I said, heated discussions will now commence with um, Big Al through to Lord William and back again I would imagine about having a forage and chip silo put in because I need to store this and I can't just leave it in the uh, the loading wagons all the time it needs to be put somewhere it does also mean I can put straw there we can make total mix ration and put that in there um, it, it's a good idea for the farm I like it um, and it probably does need to be done 
Um, but that's it for another episode. We finish up on Mountain View Farm. The sun is setting. It's a lovely evening. Hopefully in the morning we will move on to whatever we're going to do next. I have no idea what that's going to be yet. Um, but we will move on to it, whatever it may be. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.